Good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are breaking with you from coast to coast and all around the world. 2017 Panini Donners Optic Football, 12 a box. Pick your team number 16. I really have one of these cases, so this filled up pretty quickly. So thanks, everyone, for getting into this one. Thanks to these people, actually, specifically these people for getting into this break on a Tuesday. Break Sweet 16, Matt Porter with that last spot, Mojo, Ravens, and there's everyone else. Good luck, folks, and thank you. Just off camera, we were talking about the, uh, just off camera, we were talking about the, the Contenders Optic Football Hybrid product that uh, Panini's doing. I don't know when that's going to come out. I forget. I haven't, I haven't looked at the calendar yet, but... I'm looking forward to it, though. Should be a lot of fun. All right, let's get over there. Robert, this break takes about an hour. So I know the mixer just filled up, so the mixer will be happening in about an hour or so after this. Tyler, what's going on? All right, so there's all six boxes, six on the left, six on the right. Everyone remembers this, right? One auto per box. There's hot box. There's this. There's that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Good luck, everyone. Hey, no worries, Skull. Skull saying thanks for doing these breaks every night. Um, it does keep a roof over my head and food in my belly. So there's also that. But you're welcome. I should, I should be thanking you, Skull. Thanks for watching every night. Thanks for joining our breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Otherwise, there'd be no roof over my head and no food in my belly and just base cards, vet base that we don't ship in breaks like this, vet base to keep me warm at night. Actually, there wouldn't be vet base if we don't break so There's that too. All right, good, good luck, everybody. So... There are hot boxes. I think there's a relic auto case hit, unless there's an extra one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so the hybrid, so the, the the Frankenstein Contenders Optic, which I think is going to be really cool. Seal Curtain says it's set to come out at the end of February. Well, guess what? We do we do really well. We do really well with Optic Football, and we really do well with Contenders Football. I'm sure we will do just as well with a hybrid. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Bruyo is saying, Bruce is saying, the optic stuff is cool. He's tempted to buy a case himself. You guys think this will go down in price or only go up? Uh, well, it's, it's got a pretty pretty solid rookie class this year. I think everyone's been pretty happy with, with all the rookies this year. I, I would think it would... I think I would think it would go up in price, but they do they do print a lot of these cases though. That's the other thing. So I'm sure there's there's still a lot available, you know, but it's good stuff. All right, good luck everyone. I think that. Let's hide that autograph really quick. So we're gonna kind of breeze through all of these cards, right? Don't need those. We'll stop in the parallels at a 299. We'll set those aside. So I, I will sleeve and top load those a little bit later. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna kind of breeze through those quickly. These, of course, will stop on rated rookie on card auto Taiwan Taylor. And sleeve and top load these right away. EA Sports, it's in the game, Eric. With that one. There's D.D. Dee Dee Westbrook. 91 out of 99. Nice D.D. Westbrook for the Jaguars. That'll go to Daniel Patera. We've got Superman. 127 out of 149. Love these AKA inserts. That'll go to the Panthers. That'll be for Joseph Johns. I think these illusions cards 
We'll, we'll flaunt. When, when there's one with two different players, those will be left right randomizers. There's Demarius Thomas. Nine out of 50. A little opposite Joe Mojo for Aaron Murray and the Broncos. And we also have Antonio Brown, downtown Antonio Brown, out of 149 for the Steelers. And that will go to Manny Ramirez with the Steelers. 28 out of 199 for the Jets, Chad Hansen, Paul Harris with the Jets. And there's Brian Hill, rated rookie card for the Falcons out of 149. It's box one, Bulldog fan with the Falcons. Give myself a little more room here. Let's keep these safely right here. Keep the hits right over here. All right, next box. All right, good luck, everybody. All right. Well, let's talk about it, folks. What did, what did everyone think about the, uh, the, the conference championship games? Let's start with the Jaguars-Patriots game first. Patriots fans, I know you're out there. We've, we've got a decent amount of Patriots fans here. Tell me. You guys were nervous, right? How nervous were you? I know you were nervous. I saw I saw the Bill Belichick was fired up after that win. So you know he thought it was it was too close for comfort too. That was a that was a a cheer of relief almost. I think it's been a long time since they've been challenged like that or that close to not making it to a Super Bowl for like the millionth time in a row. Yeah. Sam's tired of seeing the Patriots every year. I, I am a little bit too. But it was a good game. Jaguars had it. Jaguars had it. They were their defense looked great. They were they were pressuring Tom Brady. They were stifling that their attack. You know, they shut him out in the third quarter. You know, and they, they, they were playing their game. They were doing what they needed to do to to win that ball game. But I think I think this is where you kind of look at it and go, hey, you know, if no, I'm not saying it's entirely Bortles' fault, but but if you're thinking, hey, like maybe if they had a slightly better quarterback than Blake Bortles. Game could have worked out worked worked out differently, but with that young defense, though, I mean they're they're going to be back. They're going to be back battling for for that spot again, for ages right here. One out of fifty, Taiwan Taylor. That goes to the uh, that goes to the Titans, of course. Set that aside right there. That'll go to Eric with the Titans. Yeah, that defense is very is very scary. Absolutely. Yep, the penalties were no good. You're absolutely right, Mothro. There were some key penalties at the end of that game, which was no good. I mean, this guy didn't do a bad job. You know, uh, he was very solid this season. You know, maybe he earns himself another season. But there's Le'Veon Bell. Is he back? He'll probably get franchise tagged at the very least. That's for the Steelers. That goes to Manny. Marvin Jones Jr. out of 199. That'll go to uh, Michael Gallucci. Ooh, Jeremy Nicklaus saying Bell's gone. He's he thinks he's gone. 
I'm a fan of her, 4 out of 49, I, although I just don't believe that Genevieve Morton actually likes the Rams. Oh, they can't afford to franchise tag him? Oh, I see. Any guesses on this redemption? That I did not know. I thought they were going to. I thought that was like, they're going to franchise him. Probably be a lot, but... There's Chris Wormley for the Ravens out of 299. That'll go to Matt and the Ravens. So Rick's saying he heard the Colts are interested in Bell. Bruce is guessing Watson on this. It's going to be... Kareem Hunt, rated rookie autographs blue. Sweet Kareems are made for Ryan Landau, Royal Force Speed. With his Chiefs. There you go, Ryan. But so, so Jeremy is saying they're already over the cap for next year, and they're going to have to fill a huge hole at inside linebacker with the Shazier injury. Could you really let go of Le'Veon Bell? That that I think I feel like that'd be a tough pill for the for Steelers fans to swallow. You know that's gotta that. And Paul Harris, oh, that's right. That's what it was. He's like, if they do tag him, Paul Harris is reminding us, that's where he made the threat, hey, I'll retire if you franchise tag me. He doesn't want to get franchise tagged. Well, Mothra, he, he's not necessarily leaving the Steelers. His contract is just up. And so he could either, uh, he could either retire, you know, he can or, or get a free agent contract with somebody else. So he's not necessarily leaving. I just think he's, he's a free agent. He's going to retire and go on tour with Snoop. Is that, is that really a, a real rumor? Is he going to go on tour with Snoop? What, what is he going to do? Is he going to be a hype man for Snoop? It, does does Le'Veon Bell have hidden musical talent that I don't know about? Is is he is, is he is he well versed in rhymes? Steel Curtain, obviously. Michael Gulucci is is our uh, one of our resident Steelers fans here. One of many that we have. We actually have, we actually have a decent number of Steelers fans here. Um, he's saying that that the uh, that if we don't re-sign him, we will tag him. Do you put any stock in the threats that he will retire if he if he uh, if he's tagged? He wants no part of the tag, says Paul Harris. But that's not his choice, though, is it? Right? You get tagged, you're tagged. Mike Williams, rated rookie, on card autograph, nice one. Karen Steele with the bolts. If he's healthy, Karen, he could be another yet another weapon for Philip Rivers. Three out of 50. Oh, so him and Snoop are friends, which is why there was the THC problems that Bell was, oh, see, it's all it's all coming together now. Uh, AJK saying, big Vikings, Joe, but he's a big Vikings fan. Uh, were you rooting for the Eagles or the Vikings? I was definitely rooting for the Eagles. So, sorry. I had a... 108 out of 199, Frank Gore for the Colts. The Colts, that'll be for Karen. I had a little, uh, you know, I put a, a dollar or two on that game. And I just I just thought that the Eagles were going to win. So that's, that's, where, that's, where, that's where my money went. Was betting with my brain, with my head, and not my heart. Out of 299, Josh Reynolds. 
sub jaded. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty intense. It's an hour. It's just an hour long break. Hence the backwards hat. I actually kind of forgot that I had my hat backwards. What am I? Twelve. Kind of. Alshon Jeffrey. Out of two ninety nine. There's Christian McCaffrey. I do feel bad that I do feel bad that Minnesota, that Minneapolis is gonna have to deal with a bunch of Eagles fans in their city. You know what I mean? Like that's got that, that's that's a pretty brutal one. There's Jordan Willis for the Bengals out of one forty nine. Dak Prescott for Will, 95 out of 99. Mike Williams was your autograph. But, I mean, I'm obviously rooting for the Eagles again because I'm a Raiders fan. Yeah, still salty about Tuck Rule game. And, um, and you know, not the biggest fan of the Patriots, so I will definitely be rooting for the Eagles in this one. Well, I, I you know, I, I have to thank Paul, Paul Harris continuing about the Le'Veon Bell thing. I, yeah, I can't imagine that Le'Veon, that the Steelers will not get a deal done with Le'Veon Bell. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that it's way too early for, for any team to start talking about contracts. They want to kind of get the uh, off-season thing together and, you know, and kind of figure out where they're going to go, blah, 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 blah. You know, but I have to, I have to think that, that they're going to make, that they're going to make, like, something happen, Right? And if you franchise tag him, what are you going to do? I mean, you can't just let him walk, you know? So if you franchise tag him, he either, he either retires and turns down like $15 million a year or whatever for, for, to get franchise tag, and then that's it. You know, or he puts that money on the table, says goodbye. But you can't just let him walk, could you? There's no way the Steelers will just be like, okay, you know, we won't we won't figure out the cap space. You know, like, forget it. We'll just let you walk. We're not even going to franchise tag. There's no way the Steelers do that. The city of Pittsburgh would just be like, what? I know, I saw that on TV, Mothro. A lot of, lot of Eagles fans going wild. They, they, they had to Crisco the light poles. I saw it. They could, they could do a – he's not popular in Pittsburgh. I, I mean, he's still uh, – I mean, he may not be popular, but but I know who he's popular with. He's popular with coaches who like to see running backs like Le'Veon Bell who will rush for 1,200 yards and uh, and be an amazing playmaker. That's that's what I like. If I'm a, if I'm a coach – I'm just like, who who doesn't want, you know, who do, who doesn't want a uh, a Le'Veon Bell on their team? I'll take a Le'Veon Bell. Raiders will take a Le'Veon Bell. Two out of ten. Carlos Henderson for the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo going to uh, Aaron Murray in the Broncos. I sh I think you should be able to, Jaden. Try it. Should work. Randall Cobb, but a tag and trade sounds sounds like sounds pretty reasonable though. I guess like worst case scenario because you gotta get something back if if you if that relationship between Bell and the team is untenable. Uh, that Randall Cobb goes to the to Curtis Erickson and the Packers. If that relationship's untenable, you know, then then yeah, then I guess you'd just be like you've got to get at least something back for him then. Tag him and then trade him something.
I mean, is he an unrestricted free agent? I'm assuming he is, which is why all this talk is happening. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, he's he's on, he's unrestricted after this season. So yeah, they're 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 definitely tagging him. <laughs> you know, and I, I I just actually just saw a news report saying that they're not even gonna talk about an extension until after the tag. Seventy six out of ninety nine, John Ross. That'll be for the Bengals. That's for Heggs. And we've got for my Raiders, Elijah Hood. For the Raiders. My Raiders with John Gruden. I'm happy about that. It's pretty exciting. Raider Nation is excited. I'm excited. Khalil Mack should be excited. Is here's a this is a hot box, it looks like. Chad Williams. Gold for the Cardinals, James. James S with that one. One out of ten on that. There's Philip Rivers at a 299 for Karen and the Bolts. Looks like we have points coming up. We'll um, we'll combine all these points into one lot and we'll uh, randomize them to one person in the break. I see this guy. I see this guy in the Super Bowl. There's Gridiron King Zeonta Foreman out of 149. That'll be for the Texans. That'll be for EA Sports. It's in the game. So it's our two autograph plus points hot box. There should be a four autograph hot box in here somewhere, too. Uh, power. Do I think they'll have Chronicles football sometime? Well, it's looking like it. They did Chronicles baseball, and then we'll have Chronicles. Uh, we'll have Chronicles basketball this week. I think. I think that drops tomorrow. Actually, we'll have Chronicles basketball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So my assumption is, is that they'll eventually do Chronicles football as well. Hi, William. How's it going? Is there going to be playbook this year? That I do not know. I have not seen it on the calendar. They seem like they skipped it this year. That's what it looks like. Maybe they're or they could be releasing it later, but uh, yeah, we were just talking about that, William. So, so what's your? Uh, that's I think that's that was our consensus here, William Jaguar fan, of course. They'll be back though. So what do you do? Do you has Bortles bought himself another year, or are you guys going quarterback shopping? Bortles didn't do too bad. It wasn't terrible. He uh, one touchdown, 293 yards. He did okay. Jaguars put up put up some decent numbers. Just the final score just didn't work out. Oh, they owe him 19 million if they keep. Oh yeah. Thanks, Blake Bortles. For thanks for the memories, Blake Bortles. I don't know if that's gonna happen, right, William? Not going to bring back Blake Bortles for $19 million. They're going to have to... I mean, they're, like... They could try to go for Kirk Cousins. They could try to go for... Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe Alex Smith. Something like that. Wait, how many times can a player be franchise tagged? Is there, a, there's gotta be a limit to that, right? Or is there not? I have no idea. I actually don't remember. Like you can't perpetually keep tagging someone because I think they're talking about Kirk Cousins being franchise tagged. And I'm just like, wait a second, hasn't he been tagged a zillion times already? Or can he not be tagged again? I have no idea. All right, next box. 
Oh, maybe they make it. Oh, maybe they make it. Uh, Jeremy's saying twice, and William says three times. Does anyone want to break that tie? Um, but maybe maybe you can tag them a lot, but maybe it just becomes so cost prohibitive that it just stops, that people just don't do it at some point. All right, I mean, this guy might take Alex Smith's job. There's Adrian Peterson, Saints edition, out of 149. That'll go to Manny. There's Cam Newton for the Panthers for Joseph Johns out of 149. Paul Harris says Alex Smith isn't the answer for the Jaguars. Well, I mean, with the Jaguars' defense, though, they don't need, like, a, a fancy quarterback, right? <laughs> you know, like, out of 299, Derek Barnett for the Fly Eagles Fly. That goes to Ryan. I mean, if there's someone guy who can just be effective. There's Juju Smith-Schuster. We'll, we'll see what happens. There could be a lot of quarterback options. For the Steelers, Manny Ramirez with the Pittsburgh Steelers. 52 out of 150. I think this is his first autograph with Jaspi's Hobbyland. So congrats on that. Thanks for discovering us and joining us. There's Amari Cooper, 85 out of 99. Somehow... They've caught a picture of him with him actually catching the ball and making a football move. Not one where he's dropped it. Power says, Joe, what do you think is the best card you have ever pulled? If I had a nickel for every time someone had asked me that question, I would probably have about $63.25. JJ Watt, 147 out of 149. Um, I don't know. Look at our Twitter. Look at our Instagram. Scroll through those pictures there. 27 out of 50, Jeremy McNichols. And then you'll see what some of the cards we've pulled is. Best card I've pulled probably... I don't know. I can't think now. We've pulled a lot of really nice stuff. I mean, Jaspies has pulled, like, we've pulled Connor McDavid RPAs, pulled... You know, all the big hockey names. 74 out of 199, John Ross pulled uh, bat barrels of legendary players and all that sort of stuff. So, Oh, there we go. So we've got some more information on franchise tag. There's people watching this video going, I know, I know, but I'm not watching live. Matthew Porter is saying someone can be franchise tagged as many times as a team wants to, but that team has to pay the player the top five combined average salary or 120% of the player's previous season salary, something like that. And Steel Curtain clarifying, saying that a player can be tagged multiple times. Oh, and then the same thing. If they're, oh, I see. If they're tagged three consecutive years, they must be paid 144% of that average salary. So, yeah, so it just ultimately just ends up be, becoming cost prohibitive. Uh, Fishing is asking, what's the best card in my PC? Probably a, um, probably a Khalil Mack rookie triple relic from Black Gold Football to out of two ninety nine. That would be my best card in my PC. Well, I think the Jaguars will be back. They, that, that that defense always is a great foundation, I think. So, got to add a couple little pieces here and there. I know it's it's a it's a it's a pretty well. That's not going out of my personal collection, TJ. Um, the Jaguars game was pretty close. Uh, I had the Jaguars plus eight, I think, and I put put a, a couple pennies on that game, and so I turned out all right in that one. I think I had the under two, which was good. The well, let's discuss NFC Championship game. This scoreline was was uh, incredibly unexpected. Thirty-eight to seven, Eagles. I th I was th I thought this game would definitely be the under, um, but twas not. Twas not. Case Keenum, kind of a rough day for him. 
one touchdown, two interceptions, only 271 yards. Nick Foles doing Nick Foles things. Looks like old Nick Foles. 352 yards and three touchdowns. I thought that defense was just going to do more for the Vikings. Uh, I went Eagles, though. I put a couple pennies on the Eagles on the money line as well as the, uh, the plus three or whatever I got them at. They clearly did pretty well. But I had the under as well. I was pretty confident about the under. Shows how much I know about point totals. Um, so that, that was unexpected. You know, you hear all the stats about, oh, dome teams going on the road, blah, 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 blah. But I just think, I just thought it would be a lot closer and a lot more lower scoring. Eagles look good, though, going into the Super Bowl. I think they could, you know, I don't know. Eagles look pretty good. Um, but let's talk about the losing team really quick. Apologies. I know we have a lot of Vikings fans there. You guys aren't losers. You guys had a great season. There's Cam Newton. But what do the uh, what do the Vikings need to do next? Like, what's the next step for the Vikings? What quarterbacks do you keep? 35 out of 149, Marcus Mariota for the Titans. There's Davis Webb out of 149 for the Giants. Uh, Power is asking, uh, do I ever buy football cards for yourself? No, I do not. If I buy, if I buy anything, I like. I don't buy into our own, buy into our breaks. We don't do that. That's not allowed. But um, like, I'll buy a hobby box every once in a while. It's usually baseball though. Eli Manning uh, for the Giants. That goes to Alex Carmichael. Um, and Jeremy had a trivia question for you. Who is the only rookie edge defender in the past ten years to post a better run stopping percentage than Khalil Mack? I have no idea. Nice Gridiron Kings autograph, though. AJ Green. Right, I actually collect postcards. Um, Heggs for the Bengals. Nice. Five out of ten, by the way, Jason, on that one. I do remember that. I think that was two years ago, Paul Harris. Out of 149. Doesn't Alex Smith... Hold the rec NFL record for not throwing a TD pass to a wide receiver the entire season. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Because I think it was like two years ago. Um, and I think it was funny because there was a... I forget what product it was. It was like Prestige Football or something like that. And um, and there was like an insert set. Someone has, has to remember this. There was an insert set that was like Touchdown Connection. And it would be Alex Smith along with one of his wide receivers in the picture of the insert on the card, and it would always be a funny joke every time. They were like, because it, like, it has not happened. Does anyone remember that set? We, we, we broke it at Jaspies like two and a half years ago or something like that. There's Shelton Gibson, 26 out of 54, the Fly Eagles Fly. And C.J. Beathard. 13 out of 99 for the Niners. That'll go to Curtis Erickson. Nice AJ Green, though. And we'll sleeve and top load all these before those parallels before those parallels get shipped out, so don't worry. Halfway through this full case break, good luck, everybody. Coming up after this in about... Another 30, in about 40 minutes, actually, we'll, uh, we'll have the next break, which is our 11-box football mixer, which I don't think will take very long. So any thought, no, no thoughts, Vikings fans? Or maybe Vikings fans aren't listening anymore. Any thoughts on what, uh, what the Vikings need to do next to get back to where they need to be? up hub city uh i feel like there was like a raiders autograph wasn't there maybe it was a parallel no we had a we had an elijah hood autograph Uh, 
Uh, a Bassing Fishing saying the Dolphins are going all the way when Ryan Tannehill comes back. I feel like people were talking about the Dolphins making it to the Super Bowl for like the last couple of years now. I'm not sure if that's quite, if you guys are quite there yet. Although they will, they would have no fear of facing uh, the Patriots in, in an AFC championship though. That would be a good game to watch. So there's no commentary on the Vikings. They're just bummed out. I don't blame you guys. I think you got to re-sign Case Keenum. Uh, I think you let Bradford go. And you have Bridgewater as your backup. You know, and then you see what happens next year. Now that defense is good enough to, to, to have them win games. Um, you know, they'll have Dalvin Cook back next year. There's Carson Wentz. 61 out of 99 for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Ryan. There's Jamal Williams out of 299 for the Packers. So yeah, I, th I think the I think the Vikings, uh, I think the Vikings will be fine. You know, they just kind of get their quarterback situation kind of cleaned up. You know, they they'll they'll do the necessary shoring up of the team uh, through the draft and. And, uh, and through free agency and whatnot. There's this Isaiah Ford for the Dolphins. That'll go to Lee. We'll have Dalvin Cook back. And then you go again. You try again. See what happens. Your next autograph is Joe Williams. Looks like another autograph hot box. Nice rated rookie auto right on the card for the Niners. Curtis Erickson with that one. You like that? There's Kirk Cousins out of 199. Free Kirk Cousins. Just let, let let him go. Let him let him go somewhere. Let him do something. There's illusions. Six out of ninety nine. Deshaun Watson and Cam Newton. That'll be a randomizer between the Texans and the Panthers. Texans is Eric and Joe Johns with the Panthers. And there's also these the regular cards that aren't numbered. We'll do a left-right randomizer on that at the very end. There's Odell Beckham Jr. Giants trying to rebuild their team. Seven, 71 out of 99. They've got guys like Odell Beckham Jr. He should be back healthy. There's Evan Ingram. There's Tack McKinley out of 149 for the Dirty Birds. And there's Buda Baker, 60 out of 75. Cardinals, James with the Cardinals. There's Joe Flacco for the Ravens. That's out of... Two ninety nine for the Purple Birds. That'll be for Matt Porter. And there's Chad Kelly for the Broncos. That'll be for Aaron Murray. Twenty nine out of thirty five. Josh Reynolds, Gridiron Kings, Richard Sherman, and Trent Taylor in the back. Um, also, if there's an extra hot, I forget, I think that we've had two hot boxes now. I think that if there's a third hot box, sometimes that, uh, sometimes that means a Jersey auto won't come out, you know, a relic auto, which is generally a case hit or something, but sometimes we've seen both, you know what I mean? Well, we, we've seen the three hot boxes and a patch auto for the case hit. So really all just kind of depends. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about it. Patriots, Eagles in the Super Bowl in Minnesota. Who does everyone have? 
What are, what are your early, uh, I know it's still a, a ways away, but what are your early thoughts? Uh, Vegas' early thoughts, let's see what Vegas has. Vegas' early thoughts is, consensus is about minus five to minus five and a half, minus five or five and a half New England. I think they are technically the home team in this one. Minus five and a half. The over-under seems to be about, so let's just say minus five Patriots are the favorites, and um, and the over-under is 48. I'll probably go, I could see it going over, actually. Uh, Jaden, Patriots, no question. Nick LaPlante says Patriots by 10. Rich says Patriots by two touchdowns. <laughs> Big, Big Rig saying hashtag not my Super Bowl. Nice one, Brett. Um, the only two people fit, only a bassing and steel curtain saying Eagles. Man. Well, the Patriots do, uh, that's what they do. They win Super Bowls and they, uh, they like to cover too, except for last week. But I think like 90% of their games, they, they, they cover, they do well against the spread. Oh, Jaden with some uh, with some extra deep dive information here. Um, Patriots are wearing white. Twelve of their past thirteen teams that wore white in the Super Bowl won. Paul Harris is double digits. Oh, new yeah. So does that? I don't know. I think Vegas has them as as the visiting team. I don't know what. I mean, they're both visitors. There'll probably actually be more Eagles fans there than Patriots fans, I would say. Well, listen, I've been riding the Eagles the entire playoffs. 91 out of 149, Jay Ajayi. That goes to, speaking of the Eagles, that actually goes to the Dolphins, though. Lee Cheeseman with that. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think, initially speaking, barring any major injuries or anything like that. 95 out of 99, Jameis Winston for the Buccaneers. I'm, I'm going to ride with the Eagles again and put a couple pennies on the Eagles. C.J. Beathard to 99, rated rookie auto. You think the Patriots alone will score 48? That goes to the Niners. Eagles defense is really good. Let's, let's not underrate that. The, the Jaguars, you know, also have a great defense. Probably a, probably a better secondary than the Eagles. Sam saying go Eagles. Eagles by three, says Sam. Um, the Eagles have a great defense, though. The, there's J.J. Watt. It's 99 for the Texans. Then I'll go to EA. The Panther, the Jaguars were able to help, help hold the uh, Patriots to 24 points. And the, uh, the Titans. Why am I saying the Titans? I think the Patriots actually... They don't have a very good uh, defense. Has improved greatly later in the season, but out of two ninety nine, Jeremy Sprinkle goes to Lee. And even though the the Patriots defense has improved considerably in the last half of the season, the last quarter of the season, you know, it's not like they're exactly the eighty five Bears. There's Mike Williams and Lance Allworth, both for the Chargers at a ninety nine nice illusions card for the Bolts. Jabril Peppers, 11 out of 25. Nice black refractor. That spicy hit going to Brandon Thomas and the Browns. Paul Harris saying, no Wentz, no chance. Swat, Mike Bobby is saying that Nick Foles rolls and shreds the Pat secondary. Um, Gronk should be able to play, I think. I mean, it's going to be two weeks. He should be. He should be, unless it's a more, much more serious injury, uh, concussion issue than we thought. In two weeks, he should be able to uh, be ready for the Super Bowl. Out of one ninety nine, Carlos Henderson. Wow, rich, savage, cold-blooded. Rich would would want to see 
some sort of uh, some sort of tragedy would befall the Patriots. But he's he's saying he doesn't like him. He's, his point is he doesn't like him. But he's saying that the Eagles just don't have any chance. The Eagles really don't have a chance. Paul Harris saying one of the biggest blowouts in Super Bowl history. Really? No, that defense. Like you can't underrate that defense. It's not like it's a bad defense. Come on. That defense is pretty good. Not even pretty good. That's like a. I mean, it's not. It's not like Vikings good. It's not Jaguars good. But that's got to be like. The Eagles have to be like a top. What? Seven defense, top five defense, maybe. You know, like the Jaguars gave, pretty much gave the, you know, gave the Eagles the game plan on how to disrupt Tom Brady. Now you're never going to stop Tom Brady, you know. And Belichick is an incredible coach. He he'll find a way to move the ball against that defense. But at the end of the day, you know, talent's talent. Man, I just I just can't. I, I agree. Hey, if we're, if we're playing quarterbacks, Foles ain't, yeah, Foles is not the guy to lead the team to a Super Bowl victory, but. No, I hear you. But he's got, you know, he's got two weeks to prepare with his team, which is a, which is a good amount of time. They just keep giving him time, you know, to like, to, to just get better and better in that offense. Something clicked last week. The trouble is, a lot of times when when a team has this kind of blowout victory in a in a, in a playoff, uh, the, the following we, the following game seems to be more of a more of a letdown. But Deonta Foreman, out of fifty, rated rookie on card autograph. Ah, Foles isn't that bad, is he, Paul? Serviceable. You know, it's better than rolling out like Matt McGloin out there. I don't know if you even know if Matt McGloin's still on the Eagles, but um, better than that, I think. There's Miles Garrett to 149 for the Browns. That'll be for Brandon. Fans of the game, Chris Berman, rumbling, stumbling, back, 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 back. This guy, this will be a randomizer to one person to break. That just has an NFL shield. He's a fan of the sport, not of a particular team. Abbasic says, if Eagles want to win, they should just sign Jay Cutler. I think they have a guy named Carson Wentz. I think they'll be okay going forward. TJ Watt at a 199 for the Steelers. That'll be for Manny. No, hey, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I feel you. I feel, yeah, I don't, I don't want to twist around Paul Harris's words. A, he makes it, makes it clear he doesn't like the Patriots, and he wants the Eagles to win, but... You know, if he's being realist, being realistic, without Wentz, no chance. He says. There's Jake Butt. He's a tight end. Two out of twenty-five. That is for the Broncos. Aaron Murray with that one. And Bradford's days in Minnesota are numbered. Wentz will be back. OJ Howard, the rookies, the juice out of 149 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Lee. We got Jonathan Allen for the Redskins out of 99. Right, that, that joke never gets old, Tyler. <laughs> um, out of 299, Jeremy McNichols for the, uh, the Buccaneers lead with that one. There's Drew Brees out of 149. That goes to the Saints. That'll be for Manny with the Saints. Rich saying if they hold Brady, if the Eagles hold Brady uh, in the first quarter, maybe they win. But he's saying that Brady's going to throw two touchdowns in the first quarter? 
Man, there, that's a lot of, there's a lot of disrespect for that Eagles defense. Am I missing something? I mean, I'm no, I'm no defensive coordinator, you know. But, man. It is momentum, though. There's, there, there's always, like, something weird could always happen, you know, in, in big games like the Super Bowl. And that always that can always change the momentum of, of of a game just so quickly. That's the weird part about it. Big rigs. Uh, well, if you were in California and you visit us in the store, we would have something for you there, but not online. No. Yeah, that fourth quarter for the Jaguars was sad times. That's for sure. I mean, that brings that brings about the question: Would you rather have would you rather be blown out or would you rather lose a close game? You know what I mean? I would take the I would take getting blown out every time. I would take getting blown out every single time. A, to lose a close game, forget it. Just too much. And both both as both if I was a, a fan or if I was like a professional athlete. Well, we'll be talking more about the the big game. I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to even say the word super su superb owl. So I we'll have to avoid that, lest the NFL sends me a cease and desist letter for trademark or copyright infringement or whatever that intellectual property law is. Um, so, well, we'll be talking more about the big game throughout the next couple weeks. We will have our big game squares promo happening on jazbeeshobbyland.com so that's something for you to look out for in the next couple days it's fun if you haven't done it before Joey Belladonna he's a fan of the game 66 out of 149 that goes to the Vikings Curtis Samuel goes to the Panthers 91 out of 99 there's Khalil Mack attack There's Noah Brown for the Cowboys out of 199. The Flash, John Ross out of 149. That'll go to the Bengals. Famous Jameis Winston, not numbered, but that'll ship. Manuel Sanders, blue or sky blue out of 299 for the Broncos. Stacy Coley, five out of five. Wow, green refractor and autograph for the Minnesota Vikings. Our first train whistle of the day, our first train whistle of the week, and that goes to Justin and the Minnesota Vikings. Five out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Or the horn that they have there. Do one of those too. All right, there you go. Points. I'll combine that with the other bit of points. I hate how it's it'll sneak up on me. Uh, big rig and big rig saying blowouts hurt less. Yeah, blowouts every time says Paul Harris. At a one forty nine Malachi Dupree. Jared Davis, Lions, so another hot box right here. Jared Davis for the Lions. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. A little something, the third to last box. And Jeremy Sprinkle, 7 out of 25. Black Refractor for Lee Cheeseman. I'm hoping that Jeremy Sprinkle maybe opens up a uh, some sort of confection or a bakery in his post-playing days. 
There's Matthew Days. Speaking of Days, 40 out of 75. Cleveland Browns. Brandon Thomas with an autograph. There you go, Brandon. It's there. Two box to go. Jordan Hope. What's going on? Yes. The little mixer did sell out. Sold out about about an hour ago. We're about to finish up this break, and then we'll be doing the mixer right after this. After I put away this break and all that, but it'll be happening soon. We are down to our last two boxes of the break. Rip open the last two boxes at once since we're pretty much there. Good luck to everybody. It's been a solid case thus far. I want to see a few bigger names in here, but it's been a solid case thus far. All right, let's pop this open. So ESPN has an article. It's an insider article, so I'm not, I'm not sure how far I can get. Um, if you were uh, if you were redrafting, now that pretty much the season is over, now that you're redrafting, who would you who would you take? I guess if you were the Browns, who would you take? ESPN says Deshaun Watson. I think that makes a lot of sense. But I wonder if, <laughs> I mean, sorry Browns fans, but. I mean, is Deshaun Watson, would he just be just as hopeless in, in the Cleveland organization? How much of Deshaun Watson was, how, how much of that benefited from, from the relative stability of the, of the Texans organization? Their solid defense and, you know, the, the fact that people can throw it, throw it to someone, that, he can, that Deshaun Watson, people will throw it to. But yeah, I guess if you're, uh, if you're the Browns, you got to try that. Rory says Nathan Peterman for the first pick for the Browns. It's probably what the Browns would do in a redraft. Uh, ESPN saying uh, Niners for Miles My Garrett for the Niners, knowing that they'd, be, they'd end up getting uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, Bears, Mitch Trubisky in the third, with the third pick. So they're going, going with Trubisky there. Jaguars, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, but I mean, you kind of, kind of, kind of hard to pass up, uh, pass up Leonard Fournette and Tennessee Titans going cornerback, Marshawn Lattimore. Um, Paul Harris asking, what are my hopes that the Raiders improve in the free agency in the uh, in the draft? I would say, I would say uh, defense. I think they're gonna go. I think they're gonna go defense. I think they might surprise maybe with, with like a second or third round running back selection. Um, I think they want to get that position a little bit deeper. They do have like Gary Ann Conley and Obi Mellon Fonwu um, coming back from hopefully they'll play an entire season. So I think they're they're okay there. But yeah, I think I think they're mainly gonna shore up on on uh, on defense. Especially that secondary linebacker. Their front is pretty good. Need a little more linebacking help. Some secondary, some consistent secondary help would be good too. On the offensive side of things, like I said, maybe maybe a a running back they, that they can develop. You know, um, Marshawn Lynch isn't getting any younger. Uh, I think they. I wouldn't be surprised if they go wide receiver, as at some point in the draft, not early, but at some point, because I don't know how long Crabtree is going to be around. And I think Amari Cooper is still still part of the part of the future. Obviously, he's, he's, he's a good receiver in spite of some of the drops early last year. But I think they're going to try to make him more of a slot receiver, I guess, and instead of out wide, which is where he has been. I think he he would be generally in like more traditional, you know, formations. He'd be out wide, and so would so would Crabtree, and then someone else would be in the slot. Um, but I think they're going to try to shift Cooper inside 
just because he's a much more of a crisp route runner. And maybe get someone who could be on the outside maybe with better hands that could, that could run the deeper routes, stretch the field a little bit. Um, but that's what I'm hoping. But I, I think I think defense is really the is is really an issue that they need to address. They have good individuals, obviously, um, but they just need to kind of put all that together. At a two ninety nine, Lamar Miller, because the offense, you know, whether you have stars there or not, I mean, with Derek Carr and Amari Cooper, you know, even an aging Marshawn Lynch, I think the I think they could all, the offense will always be able to do, do enough with a solid. With a solid defense. 13 out of 99. Julio Jones. All right. Um, I think there there will be another mixer, Ed Ram, but I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna happen tonight. Out of 199, Jameis Winston. And, and Rory, nice. You got a 9-5-10 on that Tristan Lutz Super Fractor from Bowman Draft. That's awesome. Send us a picture of that. CJ Beathard, rated rookie autograph. Yeah, I think I think Amari Cooper tends to be a little too aggressive sometimes. Always looking for the next play because he always he's always in the right spot. He runs good routes. Quincy Wilson for the Colts, but then I think he takes his eye off the ball just slightly, which accounts for a lot of his drops. I think it's just a concentration issue. Yeah, the last mixer did have the the remaining three scratchers. Joe Mixon for the Bengals. Out of 149. Davis Webb, 9 out of 10. I wonder if he'll get opportunities next year. Rated rookie, gold parallel for the New York Football Giants. That goes to Alex Carmichael. Oh, nice, Nick. Nick LaPlante saying he got a 10 of 10 on your Royce Lewis out of 150. Congrats on that. I know it wasn't listed until late, the holiday scratcher thing. Sorry about that, everybody. Brad Kaya, 66 out of 99. And the last box, Mac Hollins. Don't worry, Rory. We'll have our Super Bowl Squares promo coming up. So there'll be a, there'll be a lot of fun breaks uh, coming up. So you're not gonna you're not gonna miss out. Forty five out of one hundred for the Fly Eagles. Fly Ryan with the Eagles. Our Super Bowl promo is coming up this week. Seven out of ninety nine. Andy Dalton for the Bengals. And the next thing you know, it'll be it'll it'll be our March Madness promo. You know that'll happen. Don't worry, there's always something going on, Rory. You know this. AJ Green and um, John Ross out of 99 for the Bengals. More Bengals inserts. Out of 299, Matt Stafford. Yeah, and since the new release schedule has slowed down a lot, folks, uh, you're going to see more, uh, more mixers come up. We're trying to put together some bigger, like higher end mixers but we just don't have I just don't think we usually those happen because we have like boxes like left over you know of, of things so that's where we're able to put those those together but we just don't have that at the moment out of 299 Buddha Baker there's Tom terrific insert do I think the Raiders will trade Michael Crabtree I don't know what is his contract situation Maybe. I don't know. The last, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way. The last game, he sort of pulled, took himself out of the game. There's Ezekiel Elliott out of 199. 
for the Cowboys. That'll be for Bulldog fan. Um, he took himself out of the game in the fourth quarter, which was not, you know, which didn't make me happy. <laughs> at a one I know it was a meaningless game. That goes to the Steelers. That'll be for Manny. But still, come on, for your teammates. And we've got David Johnson. Green, one out of five. It's a nice retro insert. Green, James, with the Arizona Cardinals. There you go, James, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! And there you have it, folks. That's the break. No, no uh, relic auto case hit. So, but there was an extra hot box. So I think that's what that's what replaced it. So there you have it, folks. That is your break. Optic football. Pick your team 16 in the books. We've got some randomizers to do. All right, so we'll do a left-right randomizer for just the regular cards, the numbered one will be separate, of course. Everyone will get a chance at the Chris Berman. In fact, that'll be the same randomizer as the points. The person on top will get all the points. The second name on the randomizer will get the Chris Berman. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling. Tick, 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 tick. All right. So one, two, ran three randomizers. All right, so the first one no worries, Manny. Thank you for getting in. Nice, Rory. Rory's saying he's watching the Bowman's Best Break on TV, and you're watching the live broadcast of the show on your phone. That's the way to see that. That's power jaspying right there. Some good work. So left, right on the regular ones, we've got Texans, Panthers on the numbered one. Everybody gets a chance at the points and the Chris Berman card, and we'll use the same dice roll. You're welcome, Brandon. We'll use the same dice roll four and two, six times. Left, right, first. One, two, three, four, f four, five, and six. So right side, we'll get him after six times. Texans Panthers. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Stays with the Panthers after six times. So. This guy will go to Joseph Johns and the Panthers. For these guys right here, once again, four and a two, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, the name on top, Curtis Erickson will get all those points, and Aaron Murray will get that bonus Chris Berman card. Boomer. And there you have it, folks. Jaspyshobbyland.com. That's the place to be. We'll have more football on the website, so check it out. Uh, and baseball, and basketball, hockey, soccer, all that stuff. Check it out, folks. Thank you very much. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.